good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we are back with some WWE and AEW action figure news. If you guys have been on social media the last few days, I really haven't been too active on Instagram. I kind of was active on Twitter, but I was trying to get on there, post, and get the hell off. If you guys don't follow me on Instagram or Twitter, definitely go check it out at My Damn Toys. We post updates on the channel. Some of the content you don't find here on the channel, you can find on Twitter and Instagram. I kind of, you know, I just kind of free ball on there. So if you guys want to get in on all those things, but the, the, the reason I'm off of these social platforms is because of Spider-Man No Way Home, right? Which I'm going to be seeing tomorrow, which I'm very excited about. But if you guys have been on there, you may have noticed that we've actually seen WWE Royal Rumble Elites in the wild. They have been found in California of all places. You guys know that California finds everything first. I think these are Target exclusive. I think that's what these pictures, you know, they said. They said that these are supposed to be Target exclusive, which is pretty insane, to be honest with you. And uh, you guys can see by the photographs. We've got Yokozuna, Big E, Dakota Kai, Earthquake in the house. And I'm going to be real with you. I think this is a very weak set. I think that overall, this set is very weak. I think it's a very weak set. And if you look to the left in one of these photos, you will indeed see Elite Series 84. And what did I bish about the other day? I made a whole video on these on these figures that remain at retail. Maybe we'll get... I, I honestly, I'll get this out in just a moment, but Elite 84 right there on the shelves, as we've noted multiple times, right? They're always there, man. They are always there. I don't know what the deal is, man. Elite 84, China WrestleMania Elite, you guys know what I'm talking about. But getting into this wave, it's pretty cool that it is hitting retail that we're finally getting it, but I think overall, man, this is a pretty weak set. The only reason that I'm going to grab this wave is to review it for you guys and then turn around and, you know, build the build the Jimmy Hart. I think the Jimmy Hart figure is the best part of the set. You get the, you know, the pink sick-ass jacket. That makes two sick-ass pink jackets that we got before the end of 2021. You got Amazon exclusive Chris Jericho from AEW and Jazzwear, so the sick-ass pink jacket. Then you fast forward to the Royal Rumble Elites, Jimmy Hart sick-ass pink jacket from WWE and Mattel. I'm all for sick-ass pink jackets. So there you go. But as you guys can see, you got Big E, Dakota Kai, Earthquake, Yokozuna. I just don't know how well this wave's going to sell, man. I'm really worried about the set. I feel like it's going to shelf warm. I think Dakota Kai is the most interesting figure. I saw people saying this is the bit the best Big E we've gotten. And I guess you could say it's the best Big E we've gotten. I'm pretty sure it still has single jointed arms and the head sculpts are reuse of the Elite 78 Big E, I do believe. And the gear is solid. It's the Get Well Soon Xavier gear that we've seen with the Kofi in the past. And I don't know. I don't know if it's his best elite. I guess you could, that's up for debate. I don't know. I do want to do some surgery on it. I think you could do some boot swaps and stuff, make this figure pretty sick. But at the same time, it's it's not my favorite. The Dakota Kai figure is her first elite that we're seeing here, which is nice to add to the women's collections. Earthquake isn't the most exciting figure. It is nice to see this version of Earthquake, but I don't know if it was one of the... I just don't know if it's going to sell well. I know flashback collectors really want it. I know that a lot of people love Earthquake and they want to add it to their older shelves there, but I don't know about the modern day collector or people that are collecting modern day wrestling figures don't know how well he will do and then Yokozuna is a bit up in the air we haven't seen a Yokozuna in a while and I felt like he I guess he did pretty well in the Hall of Fame series we'll have to see he did have two world tag team championships though which is probably a big selling point for that and it kind of looks the same as that last figure right it's got the white and black kind of a plain Jane gear but it's there you guys let me know what you guys think but the full wave has been found check your local targets I'm sure that by maybe Maybe, maybe by Christmas, the whole country will have them, so you just got to keep checking Target daily. This may be a perfect time to, to release this wave, though, so it doesn't shelf warm because, you know, people are going to be grabbing figures left and right at Walmart and such, and so they're going to be wanting to grab these figures. But I wanted to put this up to you guys, talk about that, and include it in the news here today with the WWE Royal Rumble Elites hitting retail. Definitely be on the lookout. I mean, it'd be cool to find them at retail, but it's not the most exciting wave. It's not a wave that I'm super excited for, but I do want to see the Jimmy Hart be built and get that jacket in the sick ass pink jacket. You can't leave it out. Now, if we're moving on to our next bit of news, I had to show this off, guys. This is a prototype sort of studio, not studio. I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. It's a test shot or a I, I can't. It's like a prototype sort of figure of the of the Target exclusive. I don't know if it's Hall of Fame Target exclusive or what the deal is there, but it's a Target exclusive Ultimate Edition Batista. I'm hoping this thing warms shelves like the rest of the Ultimate Editions do at Target, and that is the Batista. As you guys can see here, you got 
got like the, you know, the ripped up torso. You got the double jointed arms there. He does have his red elbow pads. He's got his white gear on there. Really sick figure. I'm so excited to have this figure. I'll do a side by side so you guys can see what the figure is going to look like versus what the figure looks like here in this test shot. I'm really liking it. I think the head sculpt looks phenomenal, especially with true effects put on that thing. You paint it up nice. It is a, it's a beautiful freaking figure. This is uh, one of those figures that's going to be one of the top contenders for 2022 figure of the year, I will say, because I think that it's going to be awesome. I cannot wait for this figure. It's going to be incredible, but we have to wait on it. It's still, I, I haven't heard any updates on it. We haven't seen any other images of it, you know, any more mock images or prototype images besides this little test shot right here. And so uh, I think this came from my man Painmaker, if I'm not mistaken, but he, uh, he had an image of this and I thought it was great. So, you know, it is what it is. Let me know what you guys think of the Batista test shot. It's going to be a great figure, right? It's one of my favorite moments in wrestling history. I love that we're getting these like ruthless aggression era ultimate editions with John Cena. Now we're getting it with Batista. We need more of these things, man. I'd love to see an RVD ultimate edition from the ruthless aggression era. I would like to see, you know, a one night stand RVD or possibly a WrestleMania RVD. So these will be great things. Let's get it. Let's get the ball rolling on those. But the Batista test shot was sick. I figured you guys would want to see that. See what the formula is looking like. I like all the stuff we're getting here. I think it's a perfect formula. I have no issues with it besides, you know, the, the ab crunch of the ultimate editions does suck. But here in this, you know, we're this far into it. You just got to build a bridge and get over it at this point. And last but not least, man, I got to dive into this. And this is going to be a look, another mini rant. I can, before I even show you the images, I can already hear the people yelling. I can already hear the people yelling about these figures. And I'm going to show it to you, man. We have figure images of AEW Unrivaled Series number 8 Chases. And let's go ahead and dive into the 1 of 5,000 Chase Edition John Moxley. I can already hear the people just yelling their faces off. All right, we already knew that John Moxley, we already knew Mox and Chris Jericho were the Chase variants in the set, so that's really not that big a deal, right? Like, I, I know you guys knew about that already, or if you didn't, now you do. But you guys will see here that uh, we have a John Moxley Chase variant, and it is in the in the tights gear. I know a lot of people are going to be excited about that, but it is a 1 of 5,000. How many, how many people out there that really want this figure are actually going to get this figure? That's a whole nother day for a whole nother discussion, but uh, a reuse of the Unrivaled Series 5 head sculpt. And not only that, but a reuse of the 2-pack with Darby Allen. I don't know if you guys can see the 2-pack with Darby Allen. Where is it? It's up there somewhere. It's right beside the Chris Jericho, right behind my skull right here. It's a re-release of the same head sculpt, and it's, you know, it's another Moxley. So we're getting two Moxleys in Series 8. We already knew about this. That makes two Moxes in Series 2, two Moxes in Series 5, two Moxes in Series 8. We do have the 2-pack Mox, and I want to say there's another Moxley. I could be tripping. Maybe I'm just tripping. And I don't know. I think I am. But you guys will see here, he does have the mocks on the legs there. It's the, It's got painted on knee pads, which is very interesting. And it does have, I think that's the Sammy Guevara leather jacket, which is reuse. You know, I, I really, I think it's cool to actually see a difference in John Moxley. It's not the same tights or the same, you know, cargo style pants that Mox is known for wearing. So that's one case right there. I know that in his Series 8 regular figure, it is the black and orange, which, you know, it's. I'm pretty sure it's the same head sculpt as well. So, or maybe it's the, maybe it's a different expression. I can't remember off the top of my brain, but I know people are just really pissed off about just the reuses and the reuses. But again, man, I said this in our video the other day. We're going to get a change in it. I think there's going to be a slight pivot in 2022 where we're not going to see a lot of re-releases at all, and it's going to be more of the new people compared to the re-releases or the repeated characters. So we'll see about that. We'll have to see what 2022 brings, but we have also the one of 3,000 rare Chris Jericho, and this figure is very similar to Mox. It's the Series 6 head sculpt. It's the Amazon exclusive head sculpt and it's the yelling expression Chris Jericho once again man it's the same one you guys can see there he's got like the pain maker jacket though with the spikes on it. he's got the same scarf there with La Champion he's got the black and red fade he got the baseball bat you do have some black and red tights it no I don't know man it looks like plain Jane black tights actually I thought we had some red graphics but I think that's the belts coming off of the jacket right there so that's pretty unfortunate I know a lot of people again are going to be just destroying these figures down in the comments section but you know how it is man that's that's, that's just how it be and uh it's it sucks man because it, as these series keep releasing i'm gonna be more and more behind i'm gonna be more and more behind i'm gonna be more and more behind i'm trying to stay up to date with my mock collection i'm trying to eventually i'd like to have a, i'd like to have a complete mock and i'd like to have a complete loose set of chase aew figures but between the unmatched and the unrivaled and the very expensive and the very hard to obtain this i don't know how 
much I'm gonna be able to do that. Now, I honestly, like, if I if I went through my collection and I chopped it, if I didn't have six of one figure and seven of this other figure and ten of this other figure, could probably sell off some of those and buy a chase and buy a chase and buy a chase and probably be caught up in no time, but uh, you guys know how I am. A moron. But there is Chris Jericho, man. Let me know what you guys think of the Chris Jericho 1 of 3,000 rare and the 1 of 5,000 chase mocks. I honestly think that the Chris Je I don't know, man. I think the Jericho's pretty damn disappointing, at least as far as a chase variant goes. You don't get a lot of variation in that, but the mocks, at least it's a different gear, right? It's the same head sculpt, but you actually do get, like, the New Japan, you know, wrestling tights gear, which is kind of cool. I don't know. You guys can let me know what you think down in the comment section below. I don't know, man. I, I really, uh, I don't know. I don't know what to say. You guys can let me know what you think of it down in the comment section below, but I wanted to get on here. I wanted to talk about the Royal Rumble Elites. I wanted to talk about the Batista Test Shot figure, and I also wanted to talk about the Chase variant versions of Unrivaled Series number 8, Mox and Chris Jericho. So you guys can let me know all those things down in the comment section below, but that is going to wrap up today's video. Let me know what you think of the Royal Rumble set. Do you think it's going to, do you think it's going to shelf form like I do? I feel like it's going to shelf form, man. Really feel like it's going to shelf form. Another thing I just thought of for some reason is I've seen the Survivor Series Elites at Target, and I've only seen Bailey. Like, have you guys seen those figures at retail? I'd really like to get my hands on another Keith Lee and or Hulk Hogan, but I haven't seen that just yet. So let me know what you think of that down below. But that is going to wrap up today's news video, man. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Trying to keep it consistent with the news. Trying to get in front of you to talk about the news. Let me know if you still dig those videos or whatever the case is, man. But that is going to wrap up, man. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy. Let me know your thoughts of all the stuff down below. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at MyDamnToys. And I shall see you guys in the next video. Thank you and don't cross the line like these, these Chase variant figures, the Royal Rumble set. But the Batista did not cross the line like the rest of the stuff in this video did. You crossed the line.